keep on me alive enjoyed that lookbook. It was definitely one of my favorite ones to shoot. I love that kind of 70s country, a little bit Stevie Nicks inspired outfits. It kind of brings me back to my childhood growing up in a small town. If you're wondering why I'm doing a little talking bit at the end of this video, it's kind of new for my lookbooks. My boyfriend Andrew had a suggestion that I do a little talking part at the end of each lookbook to kind of explain how I pulled the outfits together and how I styled everything. And then I also asked you guys on Instagram if that was something you'd be interested in. Most of you said yes, so I'm just gonna put this in and I figured the people who didn't really care, you guys can just leave because the lookbook's already finished. So thanks for hanging out and watching. So I figured we'd just kind of jump right in then and I'll tell you how I styled each outfit. So for the first outfit, I've used this two-piece kind of a set that I actually picked up from Costume Drive here in Chicago. And I have kind of mentioned this Costume Drive like a couple times before just because I got so many pieces from there. But just to give you the full story on that, this Costume Drive is a part of the Green Theater Alliance here in Chicago. And it's a really cool thing. It's where all of the theaters around kind of get together and once they're finished with all the props and costumes from like that season's shows, they just give them away for free to other artists or companies or like that kind of stuff. And so I went and I got a ton of stuff that I actually just like love to wear on an everyday basis because I'm always dressed up in costume. That's the fun about it. So I found this really cool two piece there. Um, that's the skirt and it's so cute with this really pretty floral and I love how it's kind of ruched here as well gives it some cute volume it also came with this matching top which I actually cropped off before we went to film this lookbook it was normally just like a long regular shirt and I'm guessing that they tucked it into the skirt but I thought it'd be cuter as like a crop top like this and it's still kind of big on me so I wanted to give it a little more shape with this outfit. So to do that, I added in this red vest, which matched nicely with the red flowers and the print on the skirt and top. And this is the vest, which I actually got when I was living in the Twin Cities. And it was from a little vintage shop, I think in Minneapolis or St. Paul, you know, they're really close, so it doesn't matter too much. It's called Lula Vintage, so if you're in that area, you should check them out. They're cute. Uh, but these are really easy to find at uh, thrift stores, I feel like, because not a lot of people wear them anymore. And I think that this just looks really cute in kind of like country home style, and it fits really nicely, so it kind of made uh, just more of like a fitted look, even though I wanted like the poofier sleeves and like the poofier skirt with it. But I still needed more accessories because I'm all about the accessories. And so I went with this black belt to kind of match with the black in the skirt and top. And this is one of my favorite belts. I got it thrifting as well. And it's just got like this circle clasp and fits really nicely. And it just kind of added a little something that the outfit needed right at the waist. So I put that there. Uh, that looked really cute and then i also used a hat because straw hats i just felt like were necessary for pretty much every single look in this and i have a ton of them because they're some of my favorite things to wear so i got this one thrifting i love it i think it's really cute and to help tie the random like brown hat in with the outfit that has mostly black as the like base color i used some brown boots as well which I just used these ones, which I lifted off my mom. Sorry, mom, but they are getting some good use. 
Uh, so I feel like if you're gonna use black and brown in an outfit, just do multiple accessories so it's not just like one random brown thing in the outfit and then the rest is black. It makes it look like it's more intentional, I guess, if you use multiple of the same shades. Because, I, you know, the old rule, you're not supposed to mix black with brown. I don't really think that's necessarily true. I don't think that a lot of fashion rules are true. There's always exceptions. And I think when you use multiple pieces that are the same color, um, it, can, it just really kind of changes the game and it's easy to make it look less like a mistake. And I just wore these like little Sagittarius earrings. They're just these little hoops. Don't mind my nails. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry you guys. I had a gel manicure on and I just ripped them off this weekend because I was sick of it. Gold matched the gold on the belt so that looked pretty cool. Then for outfit two, I wanted to start with this top that I got in LA and I love this top. I love the snap buttons on it. So, so cute and so fun to just like rip off once you're done. Um, but the pattern is just this cute kind of light blue, light pink plaid. And then it's got this really rad design up top. I love, 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 love this. It looks so cool. So I knew it for sure I wanted to use this. And I didn't know if I was going to go with like a pair of pants or a skirt, but I decided to go with this little brown corduroy mini skirt that I got thrifting. And I thought that this just worked really cute with this. It's kind of like a midi hit, not like a full high rise or anything. So I also got to wear this belt, which is normally a little bit too big for my waist and it fit really nicely right on my kind of like upper hip area and it is this one which i also got thrifting one time surprise surprise but it's got this kind of like a cool pattern in it normally andrew wears it because like i said it's a little bit big but it fits nicely on my hips and then i also used the same boots as i did in the last outfit to kind of tie in more of this lighter brown color in the belt these so we just kind of got like a good mix of browns going on this outfit and then the kind of pop of color with the shirt. And then instead of tucking in the shirt, I did like a little tie kind of a thing. You could tuck it in if you wanted to, but I thought that for this outfit, my personal opinion, I just thought it was cuter tied. And I also used this hat, which I got thrifting. And I think this is so cute, I love it. I wish that it fit my head a little bit better because it just flies off so easily, but sometimes I just uh, bobby pin it to my head but it's so cute. It's got this like flat brim, which I'm all about. It has a really cute tag on the inside, if you guys can see. Super cute. And I also wore these little peace sign dangly earrings, which I also have looped together, so yeah. But they're just like little peace signs, something cute and really just kind of dainty, not anything too, too crazy. Okay, outfit number three. I knew I wanted to use this top which my friend sent me and she has this amazing shop called Sunset People Vintage where she sells vintage clothes and then vintage reproductions which this is one of those reproductions. She also has sent me a pair of red pants that I wore I think in my Valentine's Day lookbook. Those were pretty dope so you guys should check her out. She does great stuff but I knew I wanted to use this top for this. When she sent me this, I was like, wow, this really goes perfectly with a lookbook that I'm already planning. So it's got this kind of really cute pattern, light reddish, light pink, and then all these pretty roses. And then I love the kind of trim that this has on. So cute. It's adorable. I really cannot get over this. I'm gonna wear it so much. And even the sleeves are super cute. So I knew I wanted to wear this and I kind of already had an outfit of mine once she just sent me a picture of it, um, which is with this long denim skirt that I also found thrifting. It was an amazing find. I was so stoked when I found this. So that would be this denim skirt, which goes a little bit longer than my knee, which I think is just a really cute kind of country look. And it's got this little ruffle at the bottom. I just think it's adorable. And actually, this skirt came with this really cool belt that's on it, which I pretty much always wear when I wear this skirt, just because it's so perfect. And it's like a little conch kind of a situation. And it's just got three of them right at the front where you have it buckled in. I think that's cute. I kind of liked all the ruffles that the skirt has along the bottom, and then the top has like around the sleeves and around the neckline. 
and I also paired it with a straw hat. You guessed it. Wow. Oh my gosh. So surprised. And this is my favorite straw hat out of everything. I wear this to death in the summertime and it's really, I just hope it never fully goes, but it's already getting a little bit rough, sadly. But it's been through a lot. It's been flown off my head on a boat and landed in the lake, but I just love it. It fits nicely. It's not too tight. It like goes all the way on my head. I love the brim. And on the back here, it's also got this little paper flower thing. And it's kind of rough because like I said, this landed in the water before. So whatever, I don't care. It still looks cute. I just love how adorable that is. And I thought that that would kind of go cute um, with the flower and roses theme that the top has going on. So I paired this with that. And I also paired this outfit with my favorite vintage boots, which I found miraculously at a yard sale in my hometown, which is a town of 200 people in northern Wisconsin. So I was really shocked to find these because it's really hard for me to find any kind of like really stylish vintage, you know, at just smaller towns didn't really get like the fashion kind of thing going on, especially just back in the day, you know, because there was no internet and you just kind of shopped at the stores that were around you. So I was really surprised when this lady had these at her yard sale and she was selling them for, I think, $10. But I was like, can I get them for five because they're kind of like a little bit rough and I just need to take them to a cobbler, but I'm really poor. So yeah, that's kind of the issue with that. <laughs> and they have a hole in the toe too, so sad but I really, I really love them and I still wear them. And um, they just got this cool red part up the front, which I thought was cool with the red in the top. And um, yeah, I just love these. So they were a no brainer. I had to put these in the lookbook and I thought that they looked cutest with this outfit. For like jewelry wise with this outfit, I went with my flower um like daisy earrings from mine flowers and i just did that because there's kind of like a flower theme going on already so i thought that these were kind of cute and fun and then also to tie in more of this shade i did keep my purse with me for this outfit which this is one of my favorite purses i had been looking literally forever for a purse like this and i found it in st louis and it's got this really cool emblem kind of a thing which I love so much. This purse is one of my prized possessions, but I really love all of my vintage purses. Just have a lot of crap in there, but um, I just thought that this kind of like lighter color wicker weaving situation helped with the hat as well, so I decided to keep that in that look. Okay, next outfit. I knew I wanted to use these little red shorts, which are actually bloomers, and if you don't know what bloomers are, they are just like, little shorts that they used to wear under their dresses or skirts back in the day so that if like, the wind blew up their skirt or something, I don't know, you just wouldn't see their underwear. Very modest, love it, it's so cute. But I got a pair when I was working at the vintage store and I don't know why I bought them, I was just like, I need these. But recently I just put them on and I was like, these would kind of be cute as shorts. And I kind of feel like country does like a lot of roughly kind of girly vibes, I guess, when you're going back into like vintage styles, like look at like Dolly Parton and stuff. So I wanted to use these shorts. So that was kind of like the first little piece of this outfit that I was like trying to get inspired by, which I totally did. And these are those, just cute little bloomers, you know, love it, roughly adorable. And they go up really, really high. So I actually just like rolled it down and then I paired it with this top, which I got like four years ago at H&M. And I love this top because it's got like the little ruffles, it's got this little tie, which for this outfit, I tied it all the way up tight to my neck and then did like a big bow right here, which I think is adorable. And I tucked it in to the shorts and then to kind of just make it look more pulled together, I also added a belt, this belt, which I got thrifting before it's vintage. It's got this huge freaking buckle, which is really rad. So I just put this right like in my waist where the shorts ended. And that's kind of why I also had to roll them down because they just went up like all the way right under my boobs. And I was like, that's not necessary for this. So I just rolled it down and the belt hit it, buckled that in. 
had the shirt tucked in and really like poofed it out. And then for jewelry, I also wanted to use this bolo tie which I got um, from the same yard sale in Wisconsin that I got those vintage boots from. And this is that. Really cute, really classic. I just kind of put that on and pulled it up tight next to my neck too and put it in the middle of that bow that that shirt has and I had tied. So it was kind of like a little centerpiece for the bow there and then these kind of just hung down with the end strings of the bow as well which I thought looked really adorable. And for earrings I just used these little daisies which are actually from a company here in Chicago called Cities and Dust. Really cute. And I used the bronze to kind of tie in the bronze with the belt. Even though the bolo tie is silver, it just didn't really make that big of a difference. It didn't really clash in my opinion. I don't really care too much about mixing metals. Oh, and I also used this hat, which is a felt hat that I think I got probably like four years ago too at H&M. And it's actually really big on my head, but I don't even know if you can see it with this black background. But it's just like a cute little kind of Western style, really adorable. And I also used black leather boots for this. And it was these boots, which I wear to death as well. And all my shoes are really muddy now because where we were shooting was super muddy all weekend. So, you know, that's just part of how things go. But black boots, black hat, black accents, cute outfit all together, 10 out of 10. I loved it. And for the final look, I knew I wanted to use this kind of burgundy um, midi length dress that my friend Randy gave to me a couple years ago and I love this dress there's so many ways to style it especially when you're layering, layering a shirt under it like I love to layer turtlenecks under it in the winter time in the summertime just nothing or even what I did in this outfit which was put on this black lacy top underneath which I don't really wear too much but I really like to layer it under things because um, it's totally see-through, you know, so I don't like wear tank tops. I don't have tank tops really. I maybe have like one or two. I really like when I could just layer this under stuff and not wear a tank top under it because, I don't know, I just really don't love tank tops. They piss me off for some reason. But I thought that this looked cute and kind of added more of like dressy feel as well to this. So I wear this maybe more to like fancy occasions, I guess. But then. Like I was saying, this is the burgundy dress, which my friend Randy gave to me. And I put this over that top, which I love that it's got like the high neckline and the buttons. It's kind of like a Victorian feel, which I love. It was really cute. And then this, which I think has a really cool neckline too. So it went well with the fact that there were like buttons going down. And yeah, I just love this. Super cute. Lots of like fun colors in the floral pattern here. I used these dangly little earrings to help tie in all these colors in the dress and just add like a little pop of something here. Andrew picked these up for me on one of the cruises he was working on in like the Bahamas, I believe. And I also added these little sunglasses, which I got from a vintage store. Um, I believe they're based out of Chattanooga, Tennessee and I think it was called Collective Vintage, I'm not exactly sure, but I love these. The little um, nose things fell off, so when I wear these, they just kind of like slide all over my face, but that's fine because I think they're so cool. And then of course I had to add another hat, which I have this really nice black um, big straw sun hat. So I thought that this worked nice with that and with the kind of black lacy top. And of course, I wore some boots with it, which I just wore those black boots again. Here they are, classic. I love, love, love knee-high boots with uh, long dresses or skirts, as you can tell from this lookbook. It's very Jackie from that 70s show, and it's just seriously like such a cute look. It makes like your legs look really long and you just look like super like long and slim I feel like so I don't know maybe I'm wrong but that's the kind of vibe that I get from it whenever I see people doing that oh and I just want to tell you guys a little bit I was gonna kind of use these in a look but because the weather was a little bit rainy and muddy I didn't want to put these on and wear them out in that kind of weather but these are actually like Victorian boots that I got from that same costume drive that I was telling you about earlier and they're really cool they're obviously like old as heck and totally falling apart but 
These would have been cool. I like to wear these with longer dresses and I probably would have worn it with, I think that I was planning to wear this with the last outfit as well, the one that I just showed you. So this is like another option, a little kind of like ankle boot. I think that these just are like super, super cool. I love them. I wore them out once to a Blackfoot Gypsy show and uh, yeah, my feet were like dying by the end of it and they were definitely in better condition before I had gone out but you know you gotta do what you gotta do and I did it. Speaking of the Blackfoot Gypsies I just want to say thanks to them for letting me use some of their awesome music for this lookbook. They're one of my favorite bands genuinely. Uh, they're from Nashville, Tennessee and they're just like the coolest people ever and they have really cool style, really cool music. I don't know why they're not like famous yet or anything. It really just baffles me. You guys should definitely check them out. Their music's really great. It's super like 70s rock and roll, country kind of inspired. Uh, really reminds me of like the Rolling Stones. Something about it reminds me of the Kinks too. Like I don't know if it's like the harmonies or like their voices, but they are so cool. They are seriously like such talented dudes. So you have got to check them out. Big thanks to them. Big thanks to my boyfriend and their band as always, Abley House. They are the ones who make the majority of the music for my videos. I pretty much use them for like every single other video. And I use them for this one as well, um, which I have all the songs linked in the description. So if you're wondering, you should check it out. I'll put the song title and the name um, for each look and everything corresponding down there and I'll put the links down there too so you can check it out. Check out their channels. Abley House is my boyfriend. They do like the Beatle covers even for my other videos and I know everybody's always like, how do you not get flags when you're using Beatles songs? You're gonna get copyrighted and it, it's okay you guys, I promise. It's really okay because they're just covers by my boyfriend's band and so we got this. We're all good. But I just want to say thank you guys for hanging out and watching this video. I love making lookbooks. They're totally my favorite videos to make because fashion is like my passion. Uh, that's really just weird to say because I know that it rhymes and it's like <laughs> fashion is a passion. Um, but seriously, fashion is like my, is where my heart is above all else. I love it. so. So it means a lot that you guys are watching these videos and that you guys are sticking around and everything. So you guys should tell me whether or not you like this kind of description of how I styled and what inspired me to style each look. Um, otherwise, I can just not do these talking parts at the end and it's no big deal. So uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out with me, you guys, and I really appreciate it. I'll catch you in the next one. Which way is the sun? It's like right above us. I know, it's not a good time for a film. Free solo. <laughs> Free climbing. You're like a goat. I am. And walking in mud. Oh baby. Is it good lighting or not? <laughs>